Hello and welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And today on the show, we're uh, going to have some fun with cupcakes. Cupcakes. And, and this, whatever this is, a, a, a robot arm. A robot arm. Yes, indeed. Um, or yeah, maybe actually, like a cupcake vacuum. Yeah, in your, in, in your fantasy world, perhaps. Maybe it's a new musical instrument. Can you guess what we're going to be doing? No, you can't. So, so this in intricate infrastructure, we're going to actually show you how a VPN works, so a virtual private network. And so first of all, what exactly is that? Why would you use it? And what's it got to do with cupcakes? Yeah, exactly. Why would you use cupcakes to show that off? Uh, that is why we, uh, we take 22 minutes to, to show people every week things that they don't know about technology. Seriously. That's what the show is and, for. And a robot arm and cupcakes? VPN? I don't get it. You will. You will. So let's take a break. When we come back, what is VPM demystified with cupcakes? Today on Robot Arm Rats. <laughs> We're not going to get through this demo if you keep uh, eating the props. I know, but it's quite yummy. Delicious. It is yummy. There'll be plenty of time for that later. Speaking of yummy, our, our sponsor, Hover.com, is very yummy in terms of it's a great yummy place to get your domain names and, sim and do more with them. Right? Sure. <laughs> Of course, Hover.com is the, the place to buy domain names to worth them. Um, you want to zip on over there and get a vanity domain, you know, uh, something.com or .net or .ca or .tv, like labrats.tv. We did it for us. We keep all our domains over there. You could even get your very own email address or email addresses for your family um, simply by registering at Hover.com and paying a couple of dollars. And to help you, because we're such helpful guys, you got a fluff over there? I got a bit of something You're over You're interrupting here. my commercial here. Come on. To help you, you can use this coupon right here on the screen, and that'll get you 10% off any domain purchase you decide to get, maybe even your email addresses or whatever. <laughs> anyway, zip on over to hover.com. All right, you're done? Um, See, I think Hover's going to ask for their money back, because you're like picking stuff out of the air. I think it, it's like little bugs. They like your cupcakes. So we better get on with this before they get eaten. OK, all right, so let's talk about VPN. VPN. VPN is Virtual Private Network. Yes. Right? So you might ask, if you were my co-host, Andy, what is VPN? Well, since I am your co-host, I'll uh, go ahead and say, Andy, yes. what is VPN? Well, VPN is a way of connecting across the internet securely, right, in a, in, in, in a world where the internet generally is insecure, right? So if you're, gonna, if you're going to communicate out to the internet, uh, it would be like me handing you a chocolate cupcake. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here in a, in a cyber cafe, and I'm on Wi-Fi. And uh, I have a piece of data, and I'm going to hand it across the air and out to the internet, mm -hmm. to you out there on the internet. And I'm going to start to hand it to you. And, Ready to receive. And when you receive, and yoink! <laughs> what happened to my cupcake? Somebody's going to come along and grab your cupcake and make a funny noise like, mmm. And now somebody knows your cupcake recipe, too. That's right, exactly. <laughs> Did you like it? <laughs> was it <laughs> Did you go for the really budget ones or what? <laughs> Discount. You know, come on, we are horrendous. Thank you, Matt. So it's like that. So you can be handing. So you're basically handing off data into the space, and anybody can grab it and consume it, like Matt, like a discount. Not, not that they would want to, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> want to. But that could be a password. It could be, you know, uh, your personal information. It could be anything like that. Do you need something to wash are your you mouth? Okay, Matt? Matt? I'm okay. I'm good. <laughs> so you have some dirty personal information. I don't like this. <laughs> Sticky and chocolatey. So um, some people might think that you know, if I, especially if you like to be traveling around the world, you're in a cyber cafe, mm -hmm. or you're connecting at an airport or whatever, you really have to be concerned about perhaps your personal privacy. Now most people don't worry. You know, if you connect to your bank, you're connecting securely anyway to one of those mm -hmm. HTTPS servers. Right. So, so it's creating a scrambled connection between you and the uh, you and the, and the website. Right. So when you're shopping, that's already happening. When you're doing banking, that's already happening. But if you're <laughs> logging onto a website. Um, you know, like any other website, a subscription website like mm -hmm. Netflix, that information is not going to be obscured. Right. So somebody could come along and grab it. Right. And so what a VPN does is basically create a secure connection between you and the third party who then acts on your behalf on the internet to receive data. Right. Sort right. of like this. Right. Okay. So this is going to be, so we're going to turn our, our robot arm. Our, our, we're going to turn our robot arm on. on. Actually, let's extend it a bit. Pull. Good. All right. So now here I am surfing away. Woo! <laughs> It doesn't help. Um, and I'm going to, uh, I have uh, a. I don't want one of those cupcakes. <laughs> those are apparently bad. <laughs> I'll get the, uh, 
the nice vanilla one. All right. I'm here to steal your yummy data. And so what happens is I'm going to hand this off to you and get my cupcake. You can't get my cupcake. Oh, darn. You I can't, can't get, get my get cupcake. Your yummy cupcake. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh, darn. Matt hates that. I almost uh, got him. Right? So what's happening? So, so anybody who comes along and tries to acquire your cupcake osity will fail miserably because you'll be protected by this shield. Mm. You can have this one back. <laughs> you didn't like that one? Hey, easy, 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 see? Yeah, and so what happens is, so now I'm giving you data back and forth through the secure connection. And um, I'm trying to explain something. I give up. Go away. <laughs> and, and, and so nobody can get at it. Make sense? Yes, I think You're so. You're going to be okay? Now, what happens is that proxy at the other end, you have a secure connection to, then can act as your, on your behalf on the internet. So there's a couple of really good reasons for doing this. One, yes, secure data, mm -hmm. right? Especially when you're, doing, you're dealing with, with Wi-Fi. But number two, you can also, because you're a proxy, mm -hmm. meaning you're somebody I'm connecting to securely, you can represent me out there on the internet. Mm -hmm. So some people will use this, for example, to represent themselves in a country outside of where they live. So if you're in the States and you want to VPN into the UK mm -hmm. to appear like you're a, a British user. Right. So you can get BBC content, for example. Yeah. Or here in Canada, we want to go, you know, often we go to CBS or NBC.com, try to consume stuff, and it says, sorry, you're a Canadian, you can't see this because right. they want to sell it separately, a separate license to us Canadians. I hear a story that, uh, that our pal Patrick Norton actually VPN up to Canada mm -hmm. so he could see curling up here. Right. I don't know why. Because we protect would, our curling information? Yeah, I don't know why. There's not a lot of reasons to, uh, to uh, VPN into Canadian content. Right. But uh, that apparently is one of them. Yeah, OK, where you go. So, so if you want to get that highly illegal curling information, curling video, um, that perhaps would compromise, I mean, curlers, mm -hmm. copyright? I don't know. <laughs> I and guess. You could VPN from the US up to Canada. I mean, so, so it's a, there's a secondary usage here. One mm -hmm. is to protect yourself. Second is to represent yourself as a. Uh, to, as a, a member of the country where you're connecting to so that you can consume data. And I know you've been interested in this because, um, for example, here at Butterscotch, we're based in Canada, in Toronto, mm -hmm. and you want to go down to the States and actually um, consume Hulu.com content and all the other sort of cool mm -hmm. services that are happening in the U.S. Mm -hmm. If we try to record that here in Canada, we get that statement. Get an error message that says we can't do it. We can't so, do yeah, it. We, we need to find a way to pretend like we're in the States right. or tunnel in. Somehow. Tunnel, that's what I'm now, that's now, Hulu is, is one of those things. They've, they've locked it down pretty good. So a lot of the very popular services that are out there for hotspots, they, they're sort of wise to that. Mm -hmm. But there's a, if you're doing it through a work business and you actually are a legitimate uh, work facility on the other side of the border as well, and you can tunnel through there, you can get around it that way. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, obviously that's a, a major, major reason why people would do it. Right. And you, know, you may, may have heard of VPN before. Maybe your work has a... Uh, uh, VPN service. So you, from when if you're working at home and you want to connect to work and get a handle on work services, they'll probably give you a VPN connection so that securely you can receive information across yeah. the internet that's proprietary to the business and it's not compromised in any way. Right. I mean, one of the really big reasons you want to do this is because email. Email is the, one of the least secure things that's out there. If you log into your server, in a lot of cases, it's like completely wide out in the open. So anybody sitting beside you with a Wi-Fi connection can easily sniff out your password and then pretend to be you on the internet, send out a bunch of emails just representing themselves as you or your company. Right. Very, very insecure. So yeah, that's one big reason if you're in the airport lounge, you do want a VPN through to your company so that you can't have that sniffed out. Right, very good. So, you know, as my co-host, you might ask as well, how can I get a VPN connection? <coughs> Andy, how can I get a VPN connection? Well, you could talk to your company, for, for example, but most people may, may not have that luxury. Mm -hmm. So uh, they can use a third-party uh, VPN service. Mm -hmm. I uh, happen to come across and have been using Surf Bouncer mm -hmm. here on my computer. Now, they charge by the uh, day of the week or the month. You can get an annual subscription as well. It runs about uh, 15 bucks a month. If you do a, year, a one year plan, it's about uh, $10 a month. Mm -hmm. Essentially, what they do is, is um, they give you a piece of software that you install on your computer. And I have it installed right up the top here. It's for, uh, they have both Mac, Linux, and Windows versions. And if, you, if I click on this right here, as you can see, I pull down this. It's called uh, TunnelBlick is the software. Mm -hmm. And it allows me to connect um, to different, as different identities through different countries. So for example, mm -hmm. I can connect um, via US, the USA because mm -hmm. I'm going after video. So the SB Video USA profiles there. Or, SB West USA, Surf Bouncer, basically SB, right? 
West USA uh, connection. Um, perhaps I want to get into Germany or Canada. There's one for Canada as well, so you can represent yourself as a Canadian. So this is good, uh, certainly, you know, for privacy, certainly to represent yourself as somebody else. It also keeps your identity anonymous. So mm -hmm. as you're surfing on the internet, you can just use it just to stay invisible to um, to um, companies out there that may be tracking your behaviors. Right. So or if you're like a want to blow the whistle on some shady <clears throat> business at your uh, company, you can do that without being tracked back to your house right. type of thing. It basically is a black box, right? So it can basically create, it, it eliminates the ability for anybody to know anything about you right. and your surfing habits as you use a VPN. Very good. So how much does it cost to get onto this? Certainly it's not free. No, no, no. So it's uh, five bucks a week or uh, ten bucks uh, a month uh, on a year plan, and uh, I think it was the monthly plans fifteen, fourteen ninety nine mm -hmm. uh, per month, that sort of thing. Yeah. Now, if you, there are some um, services uh, that are considered free, there's something called iPig um, at iopus dot com, um, which uh, some people um, like to use. Opus was a penguin, not a pig. I know that was uh, Bloom County, right? Uh, there's Open VPN is another service. Um, you know, I don't really have an opinion on the, I haven't really spent a lot of time doing any research on the, on the free VPN, so I can't really say, yes, go ahead yeah. and use them. Often when something is free, there's usually a catch of some sort. There's not a catch that you have to ask yourself, is it going to be secure, really, yeah. for sure, for sure, um, yeah. and that sort of thing. Well, so. there's one that I've used called Hotspot Shield, and uh, mm -hmm. what they do is they make you watch a little bit of advertising first. So you get, it's free, yeah, but there's that inconvenience, and there's pop-up ads in the background as well, so it's not really 100% free. Right. They're selling you. Yes. Yes, exactly. So. Good. So there you go. That's uh, VPN demystified with cupcakes. Did you enjoy yourself? I guess. Was the cupcake at least delicious? No. 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 Okay. I have to get a new cupcake provider, I guess. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's Generally, that's if they come with barcodes on them, they're not necessarily the, the most yummy choice. No, that's true. Well, how much were these guys, anyway? They were like five bucks, yeah. So, yeah, so a do dollar cupcake, probably not a good idea. How much was this? Uh, $16. $16. Ent entire demo, I think, was $24.95. There we go. There you go. You, too, can demonstrate VPN for your mom using a bit of her dryer and some of her baking. There's a cupcake in here. Yes, there is. There will be in a minute. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we have a uh, clip of the week and also your picture. That's after this. Well, it's funny that uh, you mentioned <clears throat> I got a cupcake in my throat here. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, it's all over. Done. Disgusting. All right. Funny you mentioned Hot Spot Shield. Turns out Miss Downloads actually done an episode on this on uh, on this product. Yes, it is uh, partially uh, partially software based. So you download part of the the equation. There you go. It's a VPN software, would mm -hmm. you imagine? Yes. All right. So uh, on the clip of the week this week, we're going to quick take a look at uh, probably thirty seconds from that, and, uh, and then if you really love it, you can zip on over to butterscotch.com and see the whole episode and find out all about Hotspot Shield. So let's take a look at that right now. Welcome on deck. I'm Matt Harris. Hi, I'm Jay Goldman. Welcome to the A List. Hi, welcome to Miss Download. This program works on both hard lines and wireless connections. Hotspot Shield is aptly named because it boasts protection in Wi-Fi hotspots like coffee shops, also hotels, airports and corporate offices. It creates a virtual private network, a VPN for those of you who are tech literate, between the internet and your iPhone, laptop or PC. What a VPN does is it uses encryption firewalls and other security strategies to protect information like who you are. So if you want to see the entire episode of Misdownload and the Hotspot Shield, zip on over to butterscotch.com, uh, click on Shows, and then go find Misdownload, and, uh, or use the search engine. You'll find it. Um, and uh, it'll be exciting. All right. Exciting as these cupcakes? As more exciting. In fact, as exciting as Picture Time, which is now. Yay! You have how many pictures this week? Mr. We have Robert? some pictures. We have three pictures for you. Fantastic. Let's They're all from our viewer, Matthew. So first up, we have his cat. Kaiser Sosa. Yay. And Kaiser is, uh, Kaiser had a bit of an accident. Kaiser only has three legs. He only has three legs. One, two, three. Yeah, the, the one there looks like it could be hidden, but yeah. apparently Kaiser only has three. This could have been pre-accident as well. This is... Uh, is that post-accident? I think post-accident. Okay, I got it. So we also have uh, Matthew's dog, Jack. It's a corgi. Who has honestly. four legs, which is good. Has four legs is good. Yeah. And we made this joke a short while back yes. about please, please don't send us your x-rays, your yes. surgeries, etc. Yes. Yes. Well, Matthew decided he was going to send us x-rays. Yes. So we have one of, uh, of uh, Kaiser, I think. Oh. Here. So we've got uh, two legs in here, two paws. So right. there you go. That's great. 
See, I just think that's just cool. In fact, it was I prompted him. I said, "Come on, send us the." I know he said you don't want to see our X-rays, and I'm like, "Yeah, I do actually." Like, we don't we fun. don't want to see your X-rays if you have a nail through your head or something. Yeah, like we that. do. That's disgusting. Do, anyway. Well, at least send them to me personally. S send them to Andy. Andy at LabRats.tv. <laughs> but otherwise, for the show, you can email them too. Cupcakes are delicious unless you're Matt or someone who doesn't like these cupcakes <laughs> at LabRats.tv. More simply, you could also email us at. X-rays are awesome <laughs> at labrats.tv. Yeah, or finally. Feedback at labrats.tv. It's the most boring address, but the most utilitarian, at least. I guess. All right, Sean, well, thank you for humoring me this week with uh, VPNs and cupcakes. And thank you for humoring me with the uh, robot arm. Evil robot arm. I think, I'm, I think I'll actually replace one of my arms with those. It's a good idea. Maybe we should send one to Kaisa Soze. That's just, that's not nice. Robot dog arm. No? Well, no. 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 Well, now Matt's over there throwing up in the, in, the, uh, in the... Are you okay with your cupcakes? Okay. I'm good. All right, good. All right. All right, well, that's it for us this week. Thank you for downloading uh, us and pushing play. You know, it would be foolish for us to be here with cupcakes. If you were out there going, I want to connect securely to England so I can watch the BBC sport things like Matt. What are you doing? Thanks for tuning in. My name's Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. We'll see you next time. Here's a cupcake, Matt. Oh, easy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Hello and welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. My name's Andy Walker. Sean Carruthers. And is my mic on? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's do it again. I would have said it was. Oh, man, I got cupcake breath. That's um, what that smell is. No, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> on the break, Sean was taking care of some nature, so we, we, we'll just leave it at that. Um, okay, so. Ha <laughs> ha